All right, I'm going to give you an example of the corrupt, rotten fruit of atheism on full display in the nation, the now godless, pretty much godless nation of Germany. So basically what's going on in Germany is that anti-Christian hate crimes in Germany have increased by 150% in 2020. Uh, since 2020, basically, by 150%. And the main cause of this are these militant secularists who are going out and just doing all kinds of secularist uh, typical secularist nonsense. But going to read this article on the Daily Mail. It says, Government data shows anti Christian attacks rose from 57 to 141 in 2020. It included seven physical assaults, three thefts, and a grave desecration. Overall, hate crimes in Germany rose by 19% last year. Hate crimes targeting Christians in Germany have nearly uh, tre trebled. I think they meant to say tripled, in a year amid a wave of religious discrimination across Europe. From 2019 to 2020, the majority Christian nations saw a rise in attacks from 57 to 141. Yeah, that's the fruits of atheism for you. This included seven physical assaults against Christians for their beliefs, three thefts or robberies, one desecration of a grave, and 34 verbal assaults. Overall hate crime in Germany rose by 19% last year. The Vienna-based Observatory on Intolerance Against Christians in Europe, which has compiled a report on anti-Christian hate crimes in the continent, says the two main threats come from secular intolerance and Islamic oppression. Figures were submitted by the German police and, and uh, Federal Statistics Office to the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, uh, the world's largest, largest security-oriented intergovernmental body. Yep goes hand in hand, the Islamic oppression and the uh, militant secularism. One report said a 77-year-old female Jehovah's Witness while engaging in religious activities was hit by a woman on the street. The victim fell to the ground and hit her head. The Jehovah's Witness Kingdom Hall also said was also desecrated when its mailbox was filled with urine, the church claimed. In another alleged attack on a Protestant church, a Protestant church was vandalized with swastika graffiti and other far-right symbols. Yeah, typical of the militant secularists, not surprising. Uh, OD, OIDAC said in its report that secular intolerance, which is a major threat to Christians in Europe, is a marginalization or exclusion of religion from public and private life. The report states some of the ideologies that infuse secular intolerance that is at play in politics and universities are significantly anti-Christian and like neo-Marxist undercurrents. They claim that this has led to censorship of Christian teaching, banning Christian symbols in public places, ignoring parental rights at schools, and limiting the freedom of expression. This has led to dismissals from work, no platforming, and police investigations over the expression of Christian faith, according to the study. You see, this is atheism for you. See, they have to rely on censorship. See, they can't understand freedom of expression, and they even want to ban it from private life, too. They want to get rid of it from private life. You see, atheism is a direct threat to church-state separation and liberty of conscience, and basic freedom and liberty. See, China and North Korea are the fruit of atheism. Communism is the murderous fruit that atheism has produced. I'm a former atheist. I'm an ex-atheist, and I can honestly say that since leaving atheism, my life has never been better. And atheism is a sci-fi death cult. Continuing. The report also claims that Islamic oppression has led to violent attacks against Christians. They said Islamic oppression can mostly be seen in what we call hotspot areas of European cities and suburbs, where they impose unique legal and moral codes which are often in contradiction to democratic principles and human rights. On Germany, the OIDAC report says freedom of expression has been limited in Germany when it comes to discussions about gender, marriage, bioethics, and sexuality. Yeah, because they, the militant atheists hate freedom of speech. They hate the concept of freedom of expression. You see, they're the ones who are the authoritarian ones. They, uh, they said this has led to police investigations over Christians asserting their traditional religious beliefs. The report also claims that Christian students have had access to facilities limited of the, uh, because of their beliefs, which has led them to being labeled homophobic or anti-feminist. The, so they said some forms of discrimination are that the groups are denied use of campus facilities, uh, renting rooms, and are prohibited to share flyers and do not receive acc accreditation by student councils. Continuing. 
Some students have also received threats. A study by Matthias Rivers and Richard Tremiller at the Gothi University Frankfurt found that a third of German students were in favor of banning controversial books from the student library. Meanwhile, between a third of a third and half of university students would not allow a controversial speaker on campus. Uh, Jenny Collegist Michael Kuehr was blocked from uh, speaking at Gaudian, hope I'm saying these German names right, University about abortion after being invited by a Christian student group, Reformento 21. The group Alternative Link List uh, Gaudian, uh, forgive me if I'm pronouncing these German names wrong, staged protests and forced the university to rescind the invitation. The move was criticized by the Professors Forum, an 800 member strong association of academics in Germany. They said, there are frequent incidents in which aggressively appearing political sab groups sabotage the right to freedom of expression. I, I reword that by saying these aggressive atheist groups are sabotaging freedom of expression because atheism relies on censorship. Atheism, again, coming from an ex-atheist like me, uh, atheism relies on censorship. You see, atheism is a direct threat to freedom of conscience and liberty of conscience. That's what it gives again. China and North Korea are the results of atheism. Like it says in Psalms 14 verses 1 to 3 and, and Psalms 53 verses 1 to 3, there's nothing good that comes from them. You know, they do. there's none that doeth good. You know, they are fools that deny God. And not only do they deny God, they want to force you to deny God too. Atheism is a sci-fi death cult. So I just wanted to show you guys that. This is the fruits of atheism in Germany. So just watch out. Uh, don't be deceived by atheism. It is a satanic death cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.